Today I want to show you a really cool exercise that can help you get rid of breathiness in your voice. Hi and welcome to today's video. My name is Freya Casey and I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. The onset is really decisive for how the pitch is gonna sound and it's really the moment when your vocal cords come together. Now, how your vocal cords come together decides really, it determines how the pitch will sound. If they come together and they close tightly with just a little bit of air fitting through there, then you have a very dense tone with not a lot of other noises. It's just the pitch. All the air is translated into the actual vibration of the vocal cords. Or if the vocal cords come together, but they don't close tightly, there is a bigger gap between them. It does create a little bit more of a breathy tone because not all the air is translated into actual vibration of the pitch that you're trying to create. So there is pitch, and just air sound. So ah, ah, you can hear, ah, it's almost like you can hear the breath also in addition to the pitch. Now an exercise that I have used for years and that was shown to me by one of the most famous opera singers in the world. Her name is Ileana Kotrubash. I was very blessed to have taken a masterclass with her years ago. She doesn't sing anymore, but she used to be a big star a few decades ago. You can look her up. It's really the onset. It's, it doesn't matter if you want to sing opera or pop or jazz. If you want to practice a more dense tone and getting rid of breathiness, it can help you just to focus on a very soft and focused onset. You probably know what it feels like when you do something like that. You try to sing a pitch that's a little bit higher in your voice and then something like this happens. And it's not a clean onset. Either nothing comes out or it starts very bumpy, maybe scratchy, maybe raspy. So trying to get this very, very soft, but very, very accurate onset is so important. Now, here are the elements that help your vocal cords, you know, besides the vocal cords closing. You want to give space. So I would always start maybe on an ah. However, if you go higher in head voice, even a closed vowel like a e or u might be easier because you're already condensing the air. You're creating more subglottal density that compression by just creating a smaller space here in the front. However, you don't want to reduce the space in your pharynx back there. So instead of you doing this and doing ah, ah, something like that, or ah, because you never know when the voice is going to come, you want to try to be very well prepared by taking a deep breath and then really, really making sure you are well supported, that everything is in place, and then how soft can you make that onset and still be very, very accurate? You can try this in chest voice. How much softer can you get and still be very clean and accurate? You have to use all the muscles, your support, how to shape the vowel, and really getting ready to synchronize airstream, so airflow, and vocal cords vibrating. You have to synchronize it perfectly. It has to happen at the exact same moment. If there is a slight discrepancy, airflow but not vocal cords together, or vocal cords together but not airflow, you have a bumpy onset, okay? So try it out. Again, you can try it on an ooh maybe. How 
how soft can you get and still have full control? If you're doing it right, you have to use tons of support muscles and you have to make sure that you're not sloppy in your placement, in your resonance. You, you can't be extremely nasal or anything. Let's try it in head voice on maybe an E. In order to sing soft, and still keep the energy and keep the right pitch without it going flat, you have to have tons of compression. Like that is your support creating, you know, really making that airstream dense. You're pushing with your support, but your vocal cords close tightly. I have other exercises about vocal cord closure. You may want to check out my videos that I have about vocal cord closure. Those are really important and also flow into this. But this exercise with trying to have this very soft onset and even after the onset, try to see how soft you can get. It really helps you fine tune. A lot of times the breathiness comes from just, ah, you're, you're just trying to hammer it out there. And that's not the way to feel more control in your voice. Let me know in the comments, do you struggle with breathiness? Do you struggle with your onsets? What is the problem for you? And let me know if these exercises are difficult for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I hope to see you next time. Check out all my free resources on my website, masteryourvoice.tv. And until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Makes me feel sad for the rest I'm being gay and reckless oh, 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 oh. Anything is possible